thank heaven you're here. I came the moment I got your wire. I just had to send for you. Terry's absent mindedness is driving me to distraction. I didn't think Harry's memory could get worse. I know it's hard to believe, but it's a fact. I'm simply at my wit's end. But my dear, I told you before you married my son. When he was a little boy, he fell on his head from an apple tree. From that memory of his, you'd think he fell out of an airplane. Breakfast will be ready in a few minutes, dear. Your mother. Mother! Oh. Well, what are you looking for, dear? I'm looking for my shoes. I used to run around with my bare feet. Have you seen them? Well, they're on your feet. Oh! <laughs> I must have slept in them last night. Do you know he hasn't earned a dime since we've been married? Collectors hound us day and night. Why hasn't he sold any of his paintings? What do you think? Cow going to lunch. And the next is his masterpiece. Fresh fruit. <laughs> well, I think they're good. You evidently don't love my boy anymore. Oh, of course I love him, but he does the craziest things. He's getting me down. Yesterday, I sent him to the market for hot dogs, and he comes home with two Airedales and a German schnauzer. Poor Harry. And one rainy night, he put his umbrella to bed and stood himself up in the kitchen sink to drip. Oh, my dear, <laughs> you took him for better or worse. Will you sit there, please? Honey, have you seen my clothes? I can't find them. Never mind your clothes now. Come and get your breakfast. Hurry, son, before everything gets cold. Well, darling, you certainly look beautiful this morning. You know, I like to get up in the morning and see you looking beautiful. It sort of, you know, Mother, it sort of helps me on through the day. I do. You know? Good. Don't you think she looks well? I do indeed. I do. <laughs> Get a little tan, don't you think? Hmm? Mm-hmm. You know, uh... Eggs are not what they used to be, are they? Hmm? <coughs> you know, darling, you and I ought to step out tonight and go somewhere, don't you think? Hmm? Take Mama with us, huh? Oh, <laughs> oh, right. I bet you'd like to go with us. <laughs> now, dear, why do you want to make a fuss? Ever since you've known that nimcompoop, all you can think of is gambling. I hope they're home. I'll tell him. Hello. Oh, pardon me. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Wow, good morning, Mrs. Click. Don't you good morning me, loafer. What has Harry done now? Your husband drags my Oscar into the pool room every afternoon and makes him squander his money on horse races. Who says so? I say so, you wolf in sheep's clothing. Be careful who you call names. You, you, you better run, you. All right, if you want to start something, come on and start it. Come on in and start Harry, you heard what Sophie said. Tell her it isn't true. Well, you're a lot. You're a prevaricator. Don't you call me a liar. Harry, were you with Oscar yesterday? I, I don't remember exactly. I suppose you've forgotten everything conveniently. As usual, your memory has failed you. Is that so? Is that so? Well, I got just as good a memory as you have, and maybe better. <laughs>
I don't know. Listen, the furniture company called up again. They said unless we make a payment this morning, they'll take back everything. Did they? Here, take this money and get right down there. Hurry. I'll hurry back. What's that address? The Acme Furniture Store, 515 5th Street. 515, 515. Okay, mm -hmm. goodbye. Oh, honey, did you say 515 5th Street? 515th 5th Street. Please try to remember that. Oh, I won't forget anymore. Well, what's that string for? That string's to remind me what that one's for. And what's that one for? That... I don't remember. Oh! If there was only some way we could make him remember something. When he was a little boy, we found out the only way to make him remember anything was to hit him on the head. Harry, darling, where were you supposed to go? Mama, I can't remember. 515 5th Street, Acme Furniture Company. <laughs> it still works! 515 5th Street, 515 5th Street, 515 5th Street. Harry, come on, I want to talk to you. Have you got any money? Yeah, I got some money to pay on the furniture. Listen, Harry, a guy at Casey's offered to sell me 12 tickets on the Irish sweepstakes for 20 bucks. It's a steal. We'll get rich overnight. We may have the money. Oh, no. I couldn't do that. Okay. Well, you see me riding around the new Rolls Royce. <laughs> Will you be sorry? When do I get my Rolls Royce? As soon as we win the sweepstakes. Oh, boy! And I'll be rich, won't I? Yeah. And I'll buy my wife a new fur coat, and we take a trip around the world. Hey, Joe. Hey, floor, one floor, one floor, minute. Come on, Joe. Okay. Made seven, he wants six. Five on the line. Coming out. Made ten, he wants six. Made ten, he wants six on the line. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Joe. Say, so you got those sweepstake tickets? You bet your life. You got the money? Sure. You think you'll win? Certainly. We're a cinch. There's your hand. Whatever we win, we divide evenly. Mm -hmm. Give it the cops. Here. By putting pressure on the 42nd ventricle, the patient is now prepared to accept a vertebrate massage around the rectangular pelvis. When one side ah! is dormant, oh, the other side is alive. Oh, and when the other side ah! is dormant, Careful. then of course we take both sides, you see, and I cross them so for lumbago. Oh. Now. Ah! 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 You see? Yeah! If you do not get better with that treatment... <laughs> Would you like to take a seat, gentlemen? No, thanks. We'd better be going. You see? As I was saying, the high prestige of certain cells having become dominant. Okay, let's go. How do you feel, Harry? You all right? Are you all right, Harry? Okay. I am. You're not hurt, are you? Get the cops again! Don't you worry, Mother. I've got an idea. You? An idea? Oh!
up. You must be tired, Addy. Sit down. Oh. Oh. So, they got the furniture after all, huh? Well, don't worry, honey. We'll buy gold furniture when I win the sweepstakes. Gold chairs with platinum legs. Sweepstakes? So that's how you squandered our money. Well, this is the last straw. I'm leaving you forever. Goodbye. Amanda, <laughs> please. Oh, my goodness. What have I done? Oh, what have I done? Oh, what have I done? Oh, what have I done? It's me, Oscar. Oscar Glick. Hey, why don't you open the door? Just a minute. What's the matter? Come in, Bowsy Wowsy. disturbances. We're going off at 2.45. Pardon me, could I borrow your gun a minute, please? Yeah. check waiting for you. Where's the ticket? Right here. Oh, I must have the whole ticket or I can't pay you. Show them another half, Harry. Oh, oh, sure. I've got it right here. What's the matter? Haven't you got it? I don't know. I, uh... Don't tell me you've lost those tickets. I forgot. You know, $75,000 ain't chicken feed. I... What did you do with it? I forgot. What? Chase man, Chase! The ticket? I know where it is. There it is, right there. Uh, oh! Come on, we catch it when it goes by the window below. Sorry, pal. 